Morning, Dennis. Morning, David. Um, good result Tuesday. What was the best thing? Was it winning? Was it uh, winning a penalty shootout? Or was it the performance during the 90 minutes? Performance, I think, um, where we've been since the Hartlepool game, the three games in between the Hartlepool game, all the shot twice, and Easter, I think, we've been poor. Um, uh, not watching, you know, like, um, you know, it wasn't very entertaining. Um, what like, again was it at Christmas time? We do it now, but I thought it wasn't. I just got back to being us. We played at the right times. We went long at the right times. Played football at the right times. We compete against a very good side, a very good manager, and um, I was just delighted to get back to being us. Like shocking a few teams. Um, I think beforehand people thought, um, you know, it's a big ask to go there on the plastic pitch and whatever. And um, I was pleased with the fitness levels. Um, and I, was, I, was, I genuinely was pleased. I thought, you know, the back four was solid. I thought the midfield three were excellent, to be honest, you know. And, um, and up top and all that were, you know, Johnny Goddard's coming for his first game. He says a lot of credit, Johnny, because he got his injury, bad injury, to be fair. Then we didn't know how long the injury was going to last. Then he's been getting treatment and we're still going, it's been an ongoing thing. And as a manager, I'm thinking, hold on, I have to sign him. And as a player, he's thinking, the manager doesn't fancy us because I've been out for so long. It happens. But his attitude's been spot on in training. He's come back and it doesn't matter if I've signed Loza or I've signed Napa or Scott Jaw. It doesn't matter who I've got. If the lads come and do well, keep him in. So he'd come in and done ever so well. And he deserves it because what what he's been doing in the training ground. I said a couple of weeks ago, or last week in here, there's not many players who were showing in training that should be in a team. Like we done a training session yesterday and I'm looking and thinking, who's put a point across that should be in a team? But Jaw, um, oh, sorry, he has. Goddard has, he's, um, he's come in, in the last couple of training sessions, he's been one of the best performers, deserves his chance and I thought he's, he's done a great shift for him. Good. Yeah. And you were complimentary about Ben Gehring on his return. Great, well. oh, yeah, after he got his OBE for this thing he's doing at the minute and all that, you know, <laughs> he's very disappointed not getting sports personality, but yeah he was. So, um, and obviously I bet he hasn't said about playing, has he? I bet he hasn't said a word on Twitter, no, like that, has he, you know? So, uh, no, I just, um, so now I was looking to see Ben back in it and he's done very, very well for 70 minutes. Um, he needed a light jacket for the last 20, to be fair. Yeah, he was sick and quick, but um, done a good job. Yeah, um, he headed and kicked, he got stuck in and um, organised. So he done very well. So I was pleased with him. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's an area of the team that you have been critical of in the past. Yeah. So maybe he will solve that problem. Hopefully. Yeah. Whoops. I'm, I'm after one. Like, I want to put three people into two positions. Like, do I need to play in there as well? But I'm after one. I have been for the last. But it's getting. Like, I lost out with a lad who went to Hartlepool. Lost out with a lad who went to Bromley. Lost out with a lad who's. Um, you know, who wants to stay away, isn't it? That, that'll change next year with full-time football because we're not having full-time to come in every day. So, um, I, but I've got a couple of games, we've got five or six up there who we, we try to look through, or after I set a half, there's no doubt, you know, I'm not going to try to hide the fact we are, you know. Um, so, um, that's another position in the team. Once I get that, and I'll maybe get Napa in, then I'm looking, because it's all about the bodies, at the minute, because if you look at now, people say, why wouldn't you want to sign Napa for a month? But the reason we, we couldn't sign him last week because we were sort of trying to get him for a month, but the league was saying in a January window he might not be able to do that. But because he's had his injuries, like operation and all that, you know, and had a lot of things where you can, there's a little bit of gear you wouldn't do. So um, hopefully get that in for tomorrow, if all being well. And, um, and people say, well, you got to, I know, but the bottom line is you've got tops and people like that who can't play on us for a turf pitch. Um, job uh, isn't a bit on that. So we need bodies and we've got, we've got Bromley coming up, we've got Sutton twice coming up in the next month. Just not like last year, where we lost every game on Astro Turf. I want to have a go on Astro Turf and go, go on Nick Points. So I want to go as strong as we can. Again, it'll be a doggy dog who plays well, just stay in the team. So, um, you know, and the game Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, I think for the next nine weeks, we've got games every single Tuesday. So we're going to need bodies. What well, if Johnny's ankle could, I'm just, I hope he did, he doesn't, but what if something happens, we're going to need these bodies. I just don't want to be left short, that's all. So I'll get him in and get um, a set of half in, then it's doggy dog, and I'm quite happy to kick along with the team we've got. I think the midfield's been excellent, with Tommy Block dying to get in there as well. Um, you know, a, a great player by Cooper for the goal, Max Moore, they're doing well. You know, I see that Slav's doing well, but Johnny's coming now, so I'm delighted about him. Johnny will be involved tomorrow as well. And um, you've got young Jane Webb who's pushing as well. So I've got three set up forwards, probably challenging for one or two positions. So it's doggy dog, so you just want to keep on cracking on. But, but, but the good thing, we've never got to do it in training. If I see him doing it in training, then it, it just stick in my mind. And that's how Johnny Goddard's got in. It's an example Johnny is, and I'll praise him here. We haven't really spoke that much over the last couple of months because there's nothing to say to him except for how you're doing and nothing to say to me because he hasn't played. He's had a bad injury, he's come back and he's got himself in a team by his work with Brilliant. And I'm delighted for him. Good, good. Um, as you know, I've been a big uh, advocate of his for a long, long time. Two or three years since you since That's, that's what put us off it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. No. Um, John T. Smith, you've mentioned. Tell yep. us about him, why you signed him, what he'll bring. I've been a lot. Of, he's, he's, he, He's, big, he's a strapping boy who has got an eye for goal and he needs finishers. Jim Webb is a good finisher. 
um, Slav's a good finisher giving chances he is and you need that in your team you need finishers uh, who has the ball up he's, he's played in the football league as well he played in the uh, semi-final of it for Cheltenham um, last year he played in the semi-final and got an injury but for the injury I couldn't pay him quite to get him right. He's went to the, he's done all his bit. He's actually played for his national team in a friendly, I think, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, and all the rest. He's come. He, he, he hasn't. He, he, he be, he be get him right. He'd be a revelation down here. He'd get him right. Like we'd done a shooting practice the other day, um, a shooting drill, and he was excellent. And he won the shooting drill. And it's good when Santa Claus win the shooting drill because he's just, you know. So he, he be, he's got a good personality about him. And like keen to work. He's local. He's got a girlfriend who's local in Guildford, and all the rest. So it's getting himself. We need somebody there. He doesn't. Doesn't go on Twitter. Doesn't they? Like, you know, except for saying well done. Doesn't go and tell the people how good he is. You, you know, like you know, because that's important to us as well. And all like, you know, I just get him because um, you know, like you see, I, I keep going over this Twitter thing and this film, but it's for insecure people. It's like the kid doing the word and he's saying our oh, pub team or something. Oh, somebody told us that you're a dear and all like you know. We haven't done bad for a pub team finishing above them um, and all like you know and still above them now and all like you know on a part time budget and a part time players. We haven't done that bad for a pub team really. But because he hasn't played for 24 years, that's the sort of things he wants to see to try to boost himself up. That's what players do. We've got players like that as well. So, but the ones who do it, the ones who the characters who come and just ignore that and do the talking on the pitch by themselves. One, it makes them men, and two, I'll give them players, no problem. So I'll praise the team for the other night. Sure, sure. Um, talking of strikers, have I had a quick look at the um, the league's top scorer table today? Do you know who the top scorer is? In our league? Yeah. Go on. It's the Maidenhead guy. Oh, I haven't Which right. unfortunately we're against tomorrow. Oh, it's fake, right. But um, do you know who our top scorer is? Yeah, we mean Max? No. We've got who? Ken? Got Ken Fernand? Ken Fernand? Ken Fernand, I. But um, we, we, only, we only have two players in the top 20, and that's Kane and Jamar. Most of whose goals were not for us. Is that right? No striker in the top twenty. So what I'm yeah. leading to is hopefully yeah. Johnny Smith. Oh, ah, Johnny out. and the young kid, Jen, the uh, mate. Oh, I got a good arm. Yeah, well, it's good to score goals on the pitch. Like you know, but Kane got off the flyer, didn't he? And scored a lot. And Max has got a couple now, honey. But uh, Bob Lane is like, oh, um, I thought we had because um, Davidson started off here, yeah, didn't he? Bang them in the first four or yeah. five games. Yeah. Never scored in six games. Yeah. Then it's, one is about creating chances, which we've got to do, and uh, and two. You know, all these other clubs have got these hitters. The main head will be a decent side, they've got decent players, and they've had a good season at the minute, haven't they? Because uh, after being in a relegation scrap last year, they've come back very well. Alan Demons is a very experienced manager, and all that he knows what he's doing. He's been in the game a long time. So um, it'll be a good game, Mark. I think it'll be a good, we'll, we'll be strong, physically strong. And um, we're going to match him, simple as that, you know. But uh, again, if Johnny can be that bloke who's going to score 15 goals at the end of the season, so be it. You know, who, hopefully it will be. If not, I've never looked at. People who um, you got the column and all that, you know, a lot from Dagman who sensational goal scorers and all that, you know. But I've um, you, you get centre forwards do get judged on goals, but as long as they're getting in the right areas and as long as they're playing the right way, I want to say it's a team effort. So I've never paid people like see a lot of teams might do it, probably do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say okay, me centre forward gets fifty pound a goal because that's his job. Just like I do and do goal keeping, like for Rossi, I'd rather give him a wages and say that's what you're getting rather than say, well you get that because that's their job. You don't give them extra for doing their jobs. So um, if it's if we win two one, it's got be blinking Ben Gavin and blinking um, Cookie scoring. So be it. I just want to be winning games wherever, sure. wherever the goals come from. Absolutely. Um, another stat I saw the other day, and, and I know you'll say straight away when I tell you about this that it's a different league, it's a different standard, it's irrelevant. So what? Who cares? I just thought this was interesting. The top two uh, players with assists in National League South, can you guess who they might be? No, I Number one and two. I haven't even looked at it. <coughs> well, no, I don't suppose you have, there's no reason no. why you should. I just, no, I saw on. this in passing and I thought it was interesting. Number two is Nick Wheeler. Is that right? And number the... one is Reggie Young. Is that right? Oh, good for him. At least this was a week, ten days ago. It may no, have changed you? since then, but nonetheless. So Reggie's at um, Hemel now, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, good for him. Good yeah, kid. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and and Nicky, I got Nicky, he helped me win a champion. We well, helped me get promotion down here, Nicky. And he's, um, do, if he's doing a good job, I thought, and if Reggie. I didn't want to lose my stuff, but if he's doing a decent job, you know. It's like, well, I was talking with players, like, funny enough, we mentioned that conversation, because we had, I keep saying, our, it's difficult for our young lads now, we've got some decent young kids knocking about the first team, but it's been the hardest thing for me to try to explain to them that their future is here, because I can't send them anywhere. I can't get them at the Kingston and Leverhead. No, no. it's a, so you end up, I do this, you know, um, you know, Leo, for example, he, was going to, he went to Oxford for trials and he's done well, Leo, but when I, I can't be, really, okay, well, just get you some men's football and you'll be fine. And that's what you can do if you haven't got, you know, if you, again, if you're not seeing him on a full-time basis and you only see him once a week, 
that's all you can do. I don't know what more you can do. Um, but with, I remember I had that cook and Reggie, both lads, I wanted to say, come on, be around this, but they wanted first team football. I couldn't guarantee that, and they went. Um, Reggie, you know, he went to farm bar, I think, and all the rest of it. You know, but if, if people say, well, d d if I'm wrong, and I didn't do everything I could to keep, because I'm black and white, if I want to grow, grow. It doesn't matter if it's just Casey or Blinken, if they want to grow, just, I'll just let them grow anyway. But the bottom line is, if a young kid comes and all, I, want, I can't play, I want first team football, he grows. And people say, well, I'll tell you what, if Reggie Youngson plays in the Football League, I probably should have done something about it. If Cook plays in the Football League, I probably, people have got a right to say, how she could have Blinken fought our back, that's keeping this lad. If they do not doing a league down, then it's not really a problem. If they do it, well, so okay. that's, how, that's how I try to play myself on it. I think it's black and white. If Reggie Young, for example, I hope he does, I hope he does, because, you know, if he goes and plays for Stevenage in the Football League, for example, you think, I'm thinking, yeah, fair enough, and all that, because I would have been, our back was a kept quarter. I would have done anything to kept quarter. You now he's went on to, uh, you know, had a decent career at this minute and all the rest of it. So um, I, I, I'm not saying that he could done well. He only played in the game when we beat Torquay, but he wanted to go and he didn't want to hang around on the bench. Can't do it about that. And same as Reggie, he got, I'm not saying he got badly advised or not. It's a choice. So if Cook and Reggie play in the football league, I think people could say, Douse, you could have had them. And that's fine. If they play in the league down, I don't think they can say anything. I think, and it's not a, a challenge for them. Uh, if, he, if, if them two make it, brilliant for the two lads, brilliant. Then you can put the finger at me and say, Douse. But if they're not, it's not really an issue. So, but well done for them, you know what I mean? No, well exactly. I, I did preface yeah. the question by saying, You'll say it's a different standard, yeah. different league. Oh, but that's not an excuse. Is, oh, but, but in the next two years, if you come to me and say Reggie's doing it, I'll Peter Van all that, I think, I should have done more, shouldn't I? I've got to be honest, I'll, just, I'll be honest about it. If he's young, I say if he's young lads, come, we've like, got Sam Evans, got people like that. I can't do that with him at the minute. You know, we're not good enough to play in the first team at this minute, um, all the rest of it. Um, so I can't do that. That's why we get these thinking people, the young kids, who people tell them a bit on what you are, it destroys them. You know, because they build themselves up and go, oh, yeah, I should be in the first team, I should be doing that. Yeah, you're going to do it. Just leave them alone, leave the kid alone, let, let him play his football for the next couple of years. It's a very young age. We keep going about year, and, and I think it gets boring now. Like, you know, he's a good young player who's doing unbelievable being around our 18 squad. He should be absolutely cock a hoop. Is he going to get 20 goals as he heck? You know, but he nick on the two at the end of the season, I hope so. But he might be next season, maybe the season. If he's a young player, leave the kid alone. Everybody, just leave him alone, let him play. Unbelievable, but um, there you go. That's what I think anyway. But but listen, I, I've been watching a lot of football lately myself. For the first time, I watched the Premiership for the first time in the week. I watched three games of, with Ryan, and I thought it was pathetic. I thought the game last night, Liverpool against um, what they called Wolves, was worse than our game against Eastley. I thought it was absolutely awful. I didn't have any names. The names come up with something you order in a blinking Italian restaurant, you know what I mean? It's one of them where I didn't know the names, Ryan does, I didn't know what to call, I didn't know what formations to play, I know one or two who play for England, I never entertained the Premiership, I thought I walked down, I thought Man City were quite good, I thought the other two games were awful, I really did. So, um, it's because um, it, I'm thinking, we've crossed the ball 45 times in the keeper's hands, you know what I mean, Liverpool, and the keeper's just picking 45 times, I'm thinking that was the old nuts, and that's supposed to be the champions of the whole country, so I think at the minute football, when I look at it, I think football's the yeah, minute, you know? I pay for Sky Sports and I never watch a live no. Premier League. Yeah, I never. Me. I got I was, I, bought, I was I was getting angry and I'm because I'm, I'm I'm watching it and I thought if that's a champions because I never oh, Liverpool might win at Man City. I didn't really take any notes because I didn't really entertain the Premiership. What's the point of me entertaining the Premiership when I'm a blinking non-league manager? I've got to entertain a non-league scene. So it's, um, I thought it was awful. I thought it was absolutely awful. If ever champions of it couldn't be blinking that man, you know what I mean? So yeah. there you go. Let's. Um, I know you've got one. A small thing to mention at the end, but my last subject is the National League's meeting the other day came up with three options yep. um, loans, uh, the league takes a loan and the clubs have to pay it back going forward, or abandon the season. What, do we have a club point of view? Well, I presume we do because there, there's a meeting yeah. for. Uh, there's a, I, I, I think it's another meeting a deer, which is we went on the thing before with doing with Napa, funny enough. Um, I, I, I said, if I'm a football manager, you know, football nut like we all are. Now, last season when they had the playoffs, we all wanted to play them, to be honest. Good or bad or ugly. I haven't seen anybody in the top. They, we could be, you know, at the minute, we've, we haven't won three games in the league or whatever and all that, you know, we could see it. I'll tell you what, I do it now, that's the honest truth is, if it's for safety of people, then it should cancel it. If it's safety, if that's what they're thinking. If it feels so, like Nick Davidson's doing a great job down here, they're, they're testing and things like that. So, at the minute, we had them all yesterday and we're all. Negative for tomorrow, which is fantastic. See, if the people, I don't see anybody, it's will clubs look after themselves? I think they will, personally, but I think it's got to be a joint. Like, we've got their opinions and we've got ours and all that, you know. My opinion, a little bit, is 
because everybody was starting to play for playoffs last year, no matter what. Cancel even play for playoffs. Cancel everybody. Put us on the back burner. Your ninth, you, you, you point the game, you're over there. We want to play for playoffs. And the PFL did. And not one complaint, not one. No, I haven't seen anybody in the top seven want to play out. I haven't seen one team in the top seven want to cancel the season in both leagues. I don't know the Northern League, I don't know. The ones down the bottom are coming out, I think there's six I've had today, someone like that. Could be struggling. Are they looking after their own backs? I can't justify that. Are they doing it because you know the health and the dads on? I, I've got that as well. I'm not. I'm just throwing it out there because the bottom line is I haven't seen anybody in the top seven who's pulling out. If they do that a day, I put fair enough because they say uh, last year it was no working. Houston do one and all that, you know. And, and I'm thinking we're only one point off the playoffs here. Houston all do it. We're going to get points for the game, but the players have got to go. And everybody's going to agree from north, south, and everybody's going to do this thing. You know, why is the rules sort of changed now? I don't know. That's just me being on it. If it's for the safety of families and the safety of everybody's saying, and, uh, and I've got to get that as well. So the council season, so it'll be, if the council season, there'll be no complaints on me. If it's for a, a health and safety decision, uh, there'll be no complaints at all. And if people have had it, and I had it when I nearly died, and I, I'll, I'll first admit that, I was in a vendor state, and if some people, what I had, who were around this football club, we will be like that straight away. So I get that completely. I really do. So that's one thing. But the other thing, well, I keep going to, I haven't seen anybody in the top seven want to do. Yeah, yeah. Josh Casey's done an interview with Clive, quite a big one, uh, which is on to today's Working Advertiser back page. Where he's, it comes across that Josh is very uncomfortable playing games and training and so on. Well, he shouldn't be in our change room because we'll get tested. Yeah, no, um, he said, he, obviously, a, a, a big feature of the interview is that he's critical of the fact that there hasn't been testing yeah, and yeah. that the league's not paying for testing or whoever. Right. But there now is, which is good, that's a step forward, but he's... He's still worried about his family and... Oh, he will, but I don't, I don't understand all that, you know, because it was nearly 2,000 people a day, a day dying. There's another 1,200 yesterday, so I do get that. So are we... But let's... The only thing is, they go, I'm, looking at it, I'm just looking at a football point of view, saying, oh, you had it all right last season, didn't you? And these people are piping up now. That's their opinion. Everybody's got an opinion. Mine is, if we're all going to do it, just do it now. Stop the season now. We'll plan for next year. We'll put people... Because people have got to find jobs. People are going to get people on furlough. We'll let them do all that. Didn't hang on to the next week and the week after. Make a decision. And this, or we're yeah. going to scrap it for two weeks and go again. Because if it was a loan... We can't do a loan. We can't do a loan. I'm telling you. No, it's, I, you know, we couldn't... I'm not telling the boys directors whatever. Because I know... Because I'm close to worse maybe. Now, so I know... That, whatever. We couldn't do the loans. How... Um, you know... Uh, uh, because we'll be taking the club into something like five grand debt for next season. No, I, I can't imagine anybody else in our league, except for the two hitters up the top there, with big money's up the top, who can do that. So, um, how can we justify paying this loan back for next season? Scrap it now, just scrap it now, just get on with it and scrap it now. And we'll plan for next season, be exciting for us, full line, blah, blah. We could see, I tell you what, you know, we won a week and all, all the things like that's not good, but it's, it's a, like, if the government are telling us that it's a danger to everybody, which it obviously is, then scrap it. But if not, and if we're getting to any, or the government are going to pay for testing every single game. That's crap, I think. All, I think it's a black and white thing, but people have different opinions, and I'm a little yeah, yeah. as well, you know what I mean? So, and we have been doing here, we've been working very hard on the football front. Um, the staff have, Kelvin has as well, um, been, we've been working really on it and all that, you know. John Gus has come across great, and I looked at, we had a meeting yesterday, and the chairman's on it, and everybody's on it, and it looked really good. Really, the plans here are very, very good, very confident that things are going to work out. If we've got to hold on and wait for next season, great. If not, we'll let it do it this year. It's just, um, yeah, I'm a big believer in just getting on with it. I'm just like, I'm looking at, well, all the big point is there, yes, I'm looking at now, and if it's a health and safety hazard for everybody, we'll just scrap it and just move on um, the next season. You know what, you know? But because we're getting tested all the time, everybody gets tested all the time, there's no reason why we shouldn't finish the season. It's just that I was a bit bitter last year, deep down, when all these clubs are saying, we've got to do the playoffs. Well, we could have got the playoffs. We could have done. You know what I mean? Um, except for Bonnet game one, good form. And somebody else could have got the playoffs and somebody else would have got relegated and all that you know even the team playing tomorrow could have went down i thought it was harsh how everything was done just use are there we got to play the playoffs yeah. you know what i mean didn't really do barnet much good do it no but it's it just that's what i mean i just look at i just like look at the whole thing and thinking you know let, let's either make a, a group decision now that all leagues are stopped no points per game nothing because anything could happen we could go in the bottom four or we could finish third top this year that's how football is same as a lot of teams because it's that tight around the leagues but don't just drag it on drag it on and somebody who's got money up there or who's in the top thinking two or three in our league or top two and three and all that say we've got to do this because we've got money we haven't a lot of other clubs haven't and all that you know and stuff like that I imagine most haven't just make this what's right for football that's yeah. what i'm saying okay thank you for that um you wanted to mention Oh yeah, I'll just be, put, I'll be just put, be putting some memorabilia up. Um, 
with Daniel's going to put some things on there. I'm desperate. We've got some great stuff in there, like Jeff Hurst, 66, you know, winning World Cups. I'm just da- da- all the money goes in the football club, all it'll go into good cause and all that, you know, and stuff like that. So we'll um, we'll get that up. So um, if Daniel puts a couple of pictures up, please, if you have or you know somebody who wants it, just spread a word around. That's all. And then contact me directly on me on me email address. Got one of them, Daniel. I'm there. Okay, we'll do that. I'm in emails now. I don't want you. I don't want you, but yeah. All right. I sent John Gus one you have a deal in an email. Well done. I know, I'm very, very, very pleased. Very pleased. Okay. Welcome to the 20th century. Ah, exactly. yeah. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna get We'll get you in the 21st century. I know, eventually. I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to get Facebook. Go and get one of them. I've seen pictures of you on Facebook. You're not be me, I've got a Facebook. No, on your wife's account. TikTok. I'm going to get into that one. <laughs> Let's go on TikTok. I'm going to do TikTok. I'm going to do TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to do all that. Like, no, I'm going to do that and start when Con type for games. I'm going to go in and be the next trendy guy. Good. Good to know. Okay, cheers, David. Next one.